Hi guys, this is your boy Kenneth reporting from the K2 spot. You know, just in the parking lot of Walmart. You know what? I had just finished listening to um, Eve's new CD, which I know you guys heard it came out two days ago on Tuesday. You know, um, her her new album, Lip Lock. Now, if you guys don't have that, you definitely need to go get that. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, because I know it's been 11 years since she came out with a new album. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, like, what took Eve so long? She should have had, you know, an album out soon. But I know from what I know, she was supposed to come out one 2007. You know, when she came out with Tambourine. But apparently things, you know, the label that she was with at that time, you know, they weren't working with her. And, you know, she tried to sign another deal at that time. But, you know, things didn't work out well. But, hey... And, you know, things, you know, she was doing other things with the acting, you know, the television show she had, you know, like from 2003, 2006, that was on UPN, you know, at that time called Eve. But you know what? We're going to go, I'm going to go straight into this because I know you guys are wondering, like, okay, is Eve CD worth listening to, you know, for 11 years after? But to answer your question is yes, it is worth the 11 years that she's been, you know, she's been gone, but she's back. And if you guys want to know, like, in my opinion, you know, because she lives in London now, so, all, like, basically the music is the real, it's the same E we grew up to know, you know, from the first Rough Riders, you know, Rough Riders First Lady album, Scorpion, and, you know, Evolution. But I know a lot of you guys, you weren't um, feeling, you know, like the whole um, Evolution because a lot of people felt like she was going pop. But really, she didn't really go pop because she's really done a mixture of all the different different popular songs that you've seen. You know, like from Love is Blind, Let Me Blow Your Mind. You know, just that whole type of feel right there. But you know, I had to really, you know, just let you guys know the honest truth. Because if you guys like, you know, those old songs like that and the classic songs that we know, you'll definitely love this album. Because to me, like the, like the highlights and the... Basically, all the songs are hot, but like my favorite tracks, and I think the ones that will the fans and you know, all the E fans who've been wondering, like, what's the hot songs? What should I check out for? Well, it's the song E, which you guys know that's the current single that's out featuring the radio personality Miss Kitty. But you know what? That's to me, that's one of the best tracks that can flow with E right about now and just you know, define her right now from all the time she's been going through and just the evolution of her you know, rapping and all. And I know you guys are saying like, okay, what else does she have? Because I know a lot of you seen the video and the singles for She Bad Bad and Make It Out This Town. Because it, to me, I feel like Make It Out This Town, that was a, it's a really good hit. I know a lot of you guys are wondering like, okay, um, I seen the video, but I don't really know about it. But I just like how the video, like the music video for that song, you know, you should have seen the whole evolution, you know, like with high school, you know, with kids picking on you, you know, they getting like so much thrill out of, you know, being mean to you. And I felt like that was a good and smart thing in Eve's behalf of doing that. Now, as far as like the other tracks are going, she did her thing, like especially with Wannabe featuring Missy Elliott and Nacho. It was just a great collaboration with Missy and I and you know Missy we're waiting for her to come back out but I felt like just having her on the track with Eve you know just brought back you know like memories especially when they had a song from her first album called Ain't Got No Dough but anywho an another good song one of my favorites besides Eve is the song Never Gone with Chrisette Michelle I just thought like it like I think it could be another big song like how Eve is doing right about now because I feel like it's like Eve's testimony of you know you guys think I've been gone, but I never was gone. Maybe I've been wrong, but that's just the interpretation that I picked out from. And then, you know, also the She Bad Bad remix, you know, with Pusha T and Juicy J, which I'm sure you guys all heard, which is a hot song. And, you know, All Night with Claude, Ke you know, Claude Kelly and, you know, Propane, that the Neptunes did an awesome job performing with producing for Eve. I thought it was just a good mix right there. But overall, like, if I had to give, you know how everybody's giving it five stars? I'd give it four and a half out of five. Because, you know, you know you're going to have your, I just want to say four and a half. I don't want to say five. It's perfect because I felt more like, you know, the songs were perfect, but I just feel like I just give it four and a half, you know, just to, you know, give you the flow. Because I feel like we haven't really seen the best of Eve yet, but I feel more like the way she's doing it right now. 
I think we will continue to see it, even though she's a Grammy Award winner. And Eve, I know if you're watching this, sweetheart, you did a great job with Lip Lock. Keep doing what you do. I know you're doing your own label situation and doing things independent-wise, but you're doing your thing. And hopefully the fans and all of you guys love this review. You can follow me on Twitter at KTooks and then my show, KTooks Spot, you know, on Twitter. And hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And thank you guys so much again, you know, just for taking the time out to look at this video. Because I know you guys can look at all these other reviews and all. But I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And every other video you guys show love to. And you know what, guys? I'm out and I'll talk to you guys again soon.